Commission, which in 1946 became the Bible Holiness Movement. This movement adheres to the common evangelical faith in the Bible, the deity and the atonement of Christ. It stresses a personal experience of the salvation for the repentant sinner. Membership involves a life of Christian love and evangelistic and social activism. Members are required to totally abstain from liquor and tobacco. Divorce and remarriage are forbidden. It is internationally linked to famine relief, civil rights action, environment protection, and anti-nuclearism. The movement sponsors a permanent committee on religious freedom and an active promotion of Christian racial equality. It ministers to 89 countries in 42 languages through literature, radio, and audio cassettes. It was in this movement that he was appointed Bishop General. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for Bishop General Wakefield. Sheikh Ahmad Didat. He was from humble upbringings with informal education. He had an avid passion for reading with infused with him the zeal and enthusiasm to debate highly qualified theologists. He championed the cause of Islam and have won the hearts of thousands of millions of Muslims throughout the world. As a fitting tribute to his monumental achievement, he was awarded the King Faisal International Award indeed a prestigious recognition as an advocate of global peace he has won the hearts of many throughout the world added to his accomplishments he has published and distributed over 20 books to millions of people at no charge he is the director He is the director of International Propagation Center International in Durban, South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join with me with a warm welcome for Sheikh Ahmad Didat. My brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I would outline to you the debate, the symposium proper 
the format of which is the first person to address you will have 50 minutes the second speaker will then have 60 minutes the first speaker again will have the final 10 minutes and that will be the time allotted to them for their discussions you the audience at the end of this time period will be given a chance to ask questions which will be answered by the two speakers these questions will be given from the microphones provided on the aisles for you there are four microphones one in the upper aisle on the right and one in the upper aisle on the left and there are two in the center aisles you will be asked to line in single files and to make sure that your question your questions are addressed in a polite and proper manner and directed to the respective speakers we shall alternate with the speakers one question for Mr. Didat one question for Mr. Wakefield and so on and so forth in keeping with the fair and proper conduct of this proceeding we will have zero, zero tolerance and we will expect your cooperation for if you get carried away then in fact you will be carried away and not by the Muslims but by both the Muslims and the Christians we will take you away and carry you away from the premises ladies and gentlemen I would like very much to urge you to have no adverse partisan activities I expect that you will conduct yourself with self-restraint that in short is the format at the end of the first speaker a lot of time as a matter of fact before the end of the is a lot of time five minutes before I will pass a slip of paper to him to remind him of his time of the five minutes that is left for his allotted time I will do that with both speakers however the last speaker who gets 10 minutes I will give him a reminder for his last two minutes brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen it is with a great sense of appreciation for both of these speakers that I compliment them and congratulate them for being of different religious beliefs they have both decided to share a common podium and to discuss their beliefs in the presence of all of us that is indeed commendable <laughs> however Bishop General Wakefield in a sense of perfect gentlemanly gesture has given the preference to Sheikh Ahmad Didat